squared over 4 plus b squared minus ln. And then if you put here l over 2 minus l over 2, um, l over 2 minus l, you're going to get uh, negative l over 2 plus square root of, and this one is going to be uh, l over 2 minus uh, l, over, l squared over 4 plus b squared. And then you could put in what the numbers are. So if there's no, it doesn't really uh, simplify. Yeah, L over 2 minus uh, L, that's uh, L squared over 4. Okay, and if you are, if you are at this point, somewhere along the axis of the rod, then you take the general answer then you take the general answer that we have and you just put uh, this is the general answer you just put a is zero right a is zero a is zero uh, now we're gonna get quite simplified you're gonna have k q over l ln of Zero, zero, so you're just left with what? Ln of uh, b minus ln of what? Put zero here, zero here, so you just have negative l plus, and then l uh, square root of, uh, square root of l squared plus b squared. And you could simplify this, you know, you could put like the b on the bottom, you know, but again, it doesn't get more simplified than that. You can't get it more simplified. Okay, so for a uniform rod, it's like that. <clears throat> now, if it's a uh, let's say I give it some numbers so we can actually see what we get here. Let's assume, let's say Q is equal to uh, 2 millicoulombs and L is equal to 10 meters. And let's say, uh, yeah, if L is equal to 10 meters, Q equals to 2 millicoulombs, what would you get for the V middle axis? Okay. So let's say B equals, I'm going to have to tell you what B is too. B is the distance from here to here. Oh, you know what I did? Sorry, no, no. This one I should have done opposite. I should have put A zero, right? This one, I, th I put zero B. So this one sh I should change. Um, I should put the B zero, right? Well, I did the opposite, basically. I put the V along the Y axis. This would be V along uh, Y axis, and then V along the X axis would be what? You would put a zero, and then what would you get there? So you would put zero for b. You get ln of two a ln of two uh, a minus ln of uh. So you're putting B0, so A minus L plus square root of A, A minus, oh, okay, you know what that's going to be? If, the, if, you, if B is 0 here, then it's going to be A minus L plus, 
square root of a minus l squared, so that's a minus l, so 2a minus l, right? a minus l plus a minus l, 2a minus 2l. That's what it's equal to. So those are the, along the x-axis. So let's find uh, uh, v along the middle axis, v along the x-axis, v along the y-axis. So we could do all three, and then we'll finish with that. So let's give it some number here. Let's say this distance b is equal to 5 meters. So find for me the potential in the middle here. Middle here, five, this is 5 meters. And also, this thing is 5 meters from here to here. So A is going to be what here? A is going to be 15 meters, right? So I want to basically find the potential 5 meters away on the y-axis, 5 meters away in the middle axis, and 5 meters away along the x-axis. So we can put in the numbers and then get the answer. So uh, we're going to have V in the middle axis. Let's see if the numbers uh, make sense here. K is 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q is uh, 2 millicoulombs. Over the length which is 10 meters, right? And then uh, for the middle axis, you're going to have ln of uh, absolute value, what? 10 over 2 is 5, plus square root of what? 10 squared is 100, over 4 is 25, plus b squared is a b is a 5 also, so 25, minus ln of what? You know what? It's easier just to divide, isn't it? So we could only do 1 ln. Divide by the second one, a minus l. So a is equal to... Uh, Let's see here. This one here I'm using, right? So you know what? The only difference of this one and that one is it's minus L over 2, whereas that one is uh, plus. So we just have negative 5 plus square root of 50. So calculate that one. Tell me what you get. So put it in, that, in your calculator. And then... Then we'll do the, I'll, I'll set up the x-axis. <coughs> Along the x-axis, we have what? Uh, so we're five meters away from the right side. So A is going to be 15. So I'm going to put ln of uh, 30 here minus ln of what? Uh, 30 minus what? 2 times uh, 10, which is 20. So ln of uh, that, that we could simply say that's ln of what? I like lns because you can simplify them. Ln of 30 divided by uh, 10, right? Which is ln of 3. Ln of 3. And then along the y-axis, is going to be same thing here. The ln is going to change to what? Ln of... Uh, B is going to be 5 minus ln of absolute value of uh, negative 10 plus square root of 10 squared plus 5 squared. 